All right, just to preframe real quick, it was at some point myself uh, searching for the video like this, but how come there isn't a single fucking video on YouTube on this topic? Well, it took me a while for myself to figure that out, but finally, after, God damn it, four days, four days of research and just wrecking my brain of this, uh, you know, Clavio community and asking even Clavio support for exp explanation, some sort of explanation. I don't know, a semblance of explanation of how to set up the uh, snippets of code like browser Benjamin, card Benjamin, view the product for uh, Shopify 2.0 themes, which we're going to be covering today. So, um, yeah, let's just get to the let's just get to the uh, to the action right now. So let's just start with a view the product. Right, it was pretty simple. You basically go to Clavio. You go to uh, what is that? Integrations, right? You go to integrations. Uh, it's a very seamless process. It didn't really take too much uh, of an IQ of your brain, right? So you just hit view the settings, and then you basically automatically will be connected to a uh, Shopify. And if that little little icon lights up green, then you're enabled to active on site metric right uh which is over which is over here now i don't know what that thing uh, it really pops up already like for two months anyway uh this is what really set up the active sorry yeah active on site uh metric over here now this is where it's pretty simple you can really do it with a uh, Shopify 1.0 themes the real problem comes when you try set up the uh, browser benefit, which is a view product metric and a card abandonment. So let's just start with the uh, view product first. Now, as you can see, right, uh, oh, more on that later. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, this is a 2.0 Shopify theme. It's called Sense, right? I customized it a little bit. Now, uh, if you wonder what it is, it's just a little series that I follow on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna talk about this at the end of the video, but for now, uh, here's how to set up the browse a Benjamin, right? Uh, particularly speaking, uh, view product metric. So you gotta go, so obviously I got it here handy. Uh, this is a snippet of code for browse a Benjamin. Now, obviously for yourself, I'm gonna drop a link down below. Uh, so that for you, you know, you can go to that Clavio, a um, Clavio, whatever, help center, and you can copy, pay, I don't, all right, I messed it up a bit, but if you go to browse Benjamin for Clavio, it should be over there somewhere. Uh, so it's added to card. Here it is, I guess. So that is basically like uh, the browse Benjamin. Basically, uh, this thing you can also, uh, if you you know can find it, you can go to uh, set up web browser tracking, and it'll actually give you the code over here, right? I just have it here handy. Now this is the where the the, the, pretty much the most complicated part comes. What you need to do right here in the uh, uh, customization my Shopify basically uh, editor, right? You go to home, there's a drop down menu, right? You go to products, you find default product, right? So this is a default product that you have on your store, right? As a page, right? So what you go here, what you do here is you go and you add a section. I already had it. Uh, I already have it right here. You add a section of a custom liquid code, right? So uh, if I'm gonna change the color, this is just this like little stripe, little stripe that you have over here. You can obviously blend it in with um, with the rest of you know, basically with your background. Now, what you need to do: either copy this code or just go uh, over here and copy. Where is that? All right. Got that? Just just go over here. Uh, Clavio will give you the code. You need to copy that code. You need to paste it over here. You need to hit save. After you do that, right? So let's even try. Uh, it's probably gonna work right now. After you you successfully paste that code over uh, from here to your custom liquid uh, window over here, hit save. Then you paste it over here into a uh, tab. Hit next. And then uh, basically Clavio will prompt you to go to this link. You go to this link, and then you basically uh, come back and that, as you can see, right, this uh, this button lights up green, you hit save, basically Clavio has received data. That's how it works. Now, to see uh, the view product metric, this is where the hardest part really comes. To see that uh, 
Whereas uh, you get a point, right? Like if you view, view the product metric, all you need to do, right? It's very important is to put an email, but the hardest part comes that you need, you don't have to put you like, obviously you can even put an email, uh, just on Google. You got to go on basically incognito tab. So I don't know why the fuck it doesn't work. You just got to go to, uh, you know, you got to copy paste your, uh, store URL over here. You're going to go to your incognito tab because that's how it works. I've tried so many fucking times, uh, to do that so many fucking times to do that. It just didn't work. You need through pop up and better form even with a, within the URL, it still just doesn't work. Give me a sec. I don't know. I got a password. I don't know the password for the store. So if I'm going to get, Oh my God, damn it. If I'm going to get that password over here, go to store. We're going to enter. All right. So I'm already on the side. Now I already like tried uh with the main theme just to kind of up like opt in like a couple times but right now as you can see uh i'm gonna put this one bus uh, boston2 at gmail dot at, uh, at gmail.com let's see how that works uh but already like fire fire off like one avis bell on the main theme i it, it worked really i don't know why but like uh my my suggestion to you just go to incognito tab have a separate email have a different emails and just put one by one specifically for each metric to fire, uh, to, to fire off, right? Do not use the same email to fire up all the metrics. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. So to fire off all the metrics, you need to use different emails, which I'm going to explain to you uh, a bit later. So this is the pop-up. Uh, again, you can use it in, in a better form, uh, but I'm going to use the pop-up because um, it probably doesn't matter. So if I'm going to put Boston uh, SKT at gmail.com, we're going to begin the adventure. And now it should fire off on Clavio. So it doesn't, it didn't fire off. I don't know why. So maybe like just again, try, uh, try this one. It should fire off, but I already kind of put their emails. I just really don't have like any more, like a new email. So let's just try, I don't know. Let's try this one. You got to really use the, the, the real email, uh, like the, like new email every time, but just because I already use them. Uh, it might not work, but for you, if you have a new email, it should probably fudge. So, okay. I'm being a little bit of a robot here. God damn, bro. Come on. Jesus, dude. So I'm going to submit. Um, it doesn't probably let me do that because, well, I already done this so many times. So, okay. Right here, as you can see, right? Uh, there's a sort of delay over here. So as you can see, uh, we probably fire out the view. Uh, so basically active on site metric. Okay. So just now active on site metric fired off. Now this is a Boston, uh, SK two email. I just really put it in, uh, like a second ago, like five seconds ago, it didn't fire off. You saw it yourself, but now it seems like it did. So again, it's just Clavio. Uh, I gotta go to shop now. So we're already on the product page. We just drop it. So just scroll the page a bit more and then come back and then see if, uh, if, if it fired off the, okay. View the product, right? Just now. So view the product works, uh, the, which is very, very great. Sorry, which is very great. And, uh, now we're going to test the add to cart, but before I tell you how to use it, there's just some little things you need to know about it. So if we go to our store back, if we go to customize, there's a basically the same process that you follow with the uh, add to cart snippet. It's just a bit of a more hustle in terms of the, a, uh, how you need to kind of customize it yourself, uh, with the code. So again, as before, just like before we go to products, we go to default product, we go to a Product liquid, and as you can see, right, I already have this too. So this one, first one, right, which the one which is above, uh, is for browser Benjamin, and the one is that is below that for, uh, God damn it, for, what the fuck is, all right, for add to cart. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, now, how to figure out? There, there's basically two things you need to keep in mind when starting up the add to cart just in case you didn't know, right? So there are two types of uh, add to cart buttons, right? The one is using ID as an identification of the, you know, basically HTML uses the, HTML uses the two types of identification, either ID or as a class, right? ID is a more specific identification 
class is more broad. It could just, you know, entails, con you know, basically consists of multiple uh, lines of code. Again, I'm not gonna go into like HTML too hard. The, the thing that you need to really understand here is uh, which one does your store use? And the way to figure it out, you need to go to like this, uh, you basically go to this add to cart button, you right click on it, you hit inspect, and then it'll pop up the console of elements here. And so again, if you lost it, just click it over here again, but let me just drag it over over here. So in this instance, right, um, in my case, the button type submit name at you see the class so my basically my store basically uses the class and what I need to do is I need to copy this this uh, naming convention right I need to copy this name now you don't have to copy an entire thing uh, in this case and in your case probably is going to begin unless it is a IED which I'm going to mention in a second uh, in this case, I need to copy the product uh, type form submit button, right? So basically up to this button because I'm pretty sure I don't need that string of code because, you know, uh, uh, Clavio still can't identify that button uh, just with that code itself, right? It doesn't have to be like an entire thing because, you know, uh, there's just no point, right? It's a, it's a, it's a unique enough for Clavio to identify this. So. You drag it over here. Uh, I recommend just going. Uh, do not scare you as a coyote, which is the name of my agency. Um, you go to here to a snippet of code, right? And you basically paste that in right over here. But actually, before that, you need to copy the code itself. And this is where complicated part might come uh, at you. So this code specifically is for ID. Below that, in for some reason, uh, Clavio fucking idiots that just didn't mention that uh, it is for uh, IED only. And so they just kind of like really drop into a uh, Shopify 1.0 themes, but it's still really, really, very important to understand the distinction. This snippet of code is for class and this snippet of code is for ID. Really depends on what you, uh, your store uses, obviously. But in this case, right, as you saw, it's a class. So we're gonna use this one. We're gonna copy, go to our notepad, uh, I'm gonna drop it over here. And so what you need to do is you need to copy that code that we copied before. You gotta go into this line, so you get the third line, and you need to replace that at the cart metric with a product slash form submit button, right? Exactly what I did, uh, where's my Clavio? Exactly where, I, what the fuck? Exactly where I did over here, right? So product form submit button, again, you copy that, uh, you pay, sorry, paste it over here, you hit save, then what you do, very important, uh, in your case is gonna be important, is you need to hit save, uh, obviously refresh your Clavio, you know, for God's sake, then you need to go to your store and you need to refresh this whole thing again, I'm not gonna do this because I already uh, it's already set up for me, but in your case, you need to use, you need to basically close that up, close that tab up, I'm not gonna do this because it's it's under the password. I'm not gonna log logging in. But basically, you close up your incognito tab. You open it up again. You open up that store. If you have an under password, if you don't uh, have a password, you just basically log into your store. Go to your store. Open it up. Uh, and then you go over here and you put another different email. So we use the uh, Boston to at gmail dot uh, you know Boston SKT to at gmail dot com. You're gonna use uh different email if i were to use it the first time i will use the different email that's very important and every to fire off any metric i don't know why that's just how it works guys okay uh i'm not a guilty here but that's just how it works to fire off every metric you need to have a three separate emails it's just how it works so if we go over here uh so profiles again right so this store again it's see it's a uh, it's really hard for climate to be able to track it because you know they're just mirrored of this emails again i view i view the product again but if i hit uh add to cart on that this new shopify 2.0 theme if i hit add to cart and go back to clavio and hit profile you will see just now i fired off or triggered the add to cart metric you can see right here uh on this side so that's just how it works guys just to sum it up the most important thing here is this right uh to use different emails right the view the product you view the product you put a different email okay you view the product metric good 
then you go to browser benjamin you paste that code as i, as I told you right you go to uh, to a setup web tracking you paste that code over here uh uh as it exactly as i told you right you go to your shopify store custom liquid and you put that code over here you hit save you go you come back to clavio you hit your uh url right daniel daniel it brands you go to your store for a second right uh it should light it should light up green then you proceed to the next <clears throat> sorry then you proceed to the next step right boom you hit that thing you you hit it then what you do is you uh come back right you go to this i already closed that tab but i'm going to put the link down below you copy the um the either of this code right before that you need to understand which one your uh shopify store uses right in this in this case is class if it's class is going to be the one that is a uh, have a bigger code you need to put that um identification here right copy paste it over here. god damn it I'm already <laughs> tripping up uh over you know instead of this line of code right you just go back uh right here and you replace that add to card uh sort of like the uh, matchup with this line of code you copy the entire thing you go to back to your shopify store you uh create another custom liquid prop not a, not a property but a block you put it over here you hit save and then what you do is you go to in your incognito tab which i already have here open and then you put your different email that you haven't put in, that you haven't put before that gets triggered on Clavio. It will trigger view of the product. It will trigger the active on site. And then what you do after you trigger those two, you go to your uh, product and then you hit add to cart. And this is how you trigger all the flows. And that's how, exactly how you set up all these metrics for Shopify 2.0 of things. God damn it. That's how, how, how it works, guys. It took me four days, four days to figure this out. Back and forth, walking my brain. So if you really appreciate it, uh, indicate that with a thumbs up thingy really helps with the algorithm now speaking of this theme uh overall and if you're curious i started basically a new series it's called ddc retention marketing and it is all about how to do retention not your fucking email retention retention everybody marketing on the high level i absolutely spice everybody who does this uh you know flyer marketing to inboxes i'm not saying that it works i'm not saying it doesn't work I'm just saying that, like, if I personally wanted to get that shit, I would go to Sam's, I would go to Costco, I would go to Walmart, and I would find these guys, like, passing out flyers and those, like, leaf flags. That's, that's called flyer marketing. If I wanted to do that, I would just participate in this instance. But in this case, right, in my world of DTC retention, of this understanding, I view this as relationship based, equity based. And if you really want to participate in that, I strongly suggest. I'm too extra right now. I strongly suggest to watch that video. It's called a, um, a DDC acquisitional funnel for uh, Clavio or in Clavio. It's it's still being edited. It's still being in an editing process. But uh, if you're watching this video, it should be live already. If you're curious what it is and how retention marketing is on, on a high level and how we build the relationships and all this crazy stuff we can do with inboxes and sms as well because again as i said it's retention it's just not all about it's like one platform and uh black and white thinking check out this video i strongly suggest to do not put it away do not click away you need to just go there and watch it and literally i'll see you in this video motherfucker do not dare click away i'll see you there